If you're sharing your location with somebody, but you wanted to turn it off for a little bit, but you don't want them to know that you turned it off, I'm gonna walk you through some steps to be able to do that. Now you have a couple different options here. The first option is you can head into your settings here. So we'll do a lot of the steps in the settings itself. Once you're in the settings of your app, you can turn on airplane mode. You can also just swipe down from the top right here and you can see airplane mode right there. So toggle on airplane mode. This is your first option, but it's not the best option. I'll walk you through a better option as well. Now you can see essentially it disconnects from my Wi-Fi, from my Bluetooth and from my cell service. So obviously it can't track my location. This iPhone can't access my location because it's not connected to anything externally. However, keep in mind when you do this, you can't use your phone as an actual phone. You can't make calls or text messages. You can't look up anything. You can't use it through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or anything like that. So it's not a great option. So let's toggle airplane mode off and walk through another option that you potentially have. So now I'm reconnected to my Wi-Fi and everything like that. I'm going to scroll down here until I get to privacy and security towards the bottom. Just tap on that. Now from here, you'll see at the very top is location services. Let's tap on that. You have a few different options in here. The first option is if you shared your location through a specific app, say the Find My App or Google Maps, you can always turn off location services for that app temporarily. So for instance, on Find My, I can switch this to Never and then go about doing whatever I want and then go back and switch it to while using this app. Now, you can also do the same thing with Google Maps if you shared your location through Google Maps as well. However, keep in mind there is a better option that you could potentially choose because maybe you shared your location across multiple different things, or maybe they can see your location in the Messages app, the Find My app, etc. So if you scroll up, you can see Share My Location midway down. Tap on that. And now you can see Find My iPhone. All you have to do is either toggle that and you can turn off Find My iPhone. However, this will completely disable the Find My iPhone feature and they might find out because essentially it will say, hey, this person doesn't even have Find My iPhone turned on. So what I would recommend going back to is toggling off Share My Location. Essentially what this means is it will track your last known location. So if someone else opens up, say the Find My app or something like that, they'll be able to see the last known location, essentially the location that you toggled that off at, but then you can go about doing whatever you want and it won't track your location and it won't send them anything. They'll just basically open up the Find My app and it will only say, oh, it can only update it from 20 minutes ago or an hour ago. It will just say, hey, it's stuck at the old location and it's not refreshing to the new location. So they will have an indication that it's not working, but maybe that's just a bug or you don't have good signal or there's just an issue with Find My. It doesn't specifically tell them that you stop sharing your location with them. And then when you're ready, you can just toggle that back on to share your location and it will refresh that current location of where you are and it's as if you never left.